Hey guys, this is a quick setup video for your brand new computer right here. So let's get started. First of all, your mouse and keyboard. We're going to insert those batteries. So let's start off with the keyboard. Keyboard's the easiest one because below it, you guys will see this. What you guys have to do is snap it out. And right here, you're going to get these batteries that came with your computer. You're going to put them in. The, now these are AAA batteries and they're going to go right here. As you can see, this way. And we're going to mount them that way. And we're going to just close this up. All right, so that's ready for now. Now let's do the mouse. The mouse is pretty simple. It's just here. Right here says HP. Right underneath, you guys can just pull it up and then it just comes off. All right, so same deal. We're going to place batteries right there. Okay, so they're facing this way, plus sign this way. And we're just going to place this on top again. Just press on it. Okay, you guys are going to hear that clicking and you guys are good to go. Back here, we're going to turn this on. Might as well turn it on right now. This guy, this is your adapter. Without this, these guys will not work. Okay, that plug it into the back of your computer. Okay, we're going to plug this in. So that just goes right in here. Or it can be this one as well. It can be either or, they're both USB, so you're good to go. Next up is your power cable. That's the easiest one because we just have to plug this into here. Okay, and then you guys will see the other end where you guys see this. That will go over here, right in the middle. Then just plug it into some electricity, which by the way, before we get started, I want to show you that you guys can tilt this up or down. Okay, up to a certain degree, you guys can tilt this. So don't be afraid to do it. It's a little stiff. But that's okay, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Hey, and you guys see this camera up here? You guys have a button up here. You guys can slide and slide back, okay? You guys can slide it to manually cover that. A lot of people put stickers over their cameras nowadays, and that's why these guys made this slide. So the next step is to turn it on. To turn it on, right on the back here, you guys will feel a button. So just press on that button, which I showed you already, and then it's gonna start up. Once it starts up, just make sure your mouse is turned on. So it means it's green right here. Okay, and your keyboard. Well, you guys have the batteries inside and how you turn it on is by pressing caps lock. Okay, that's something that's built into these keywords. So you just press that, the light's supposed to go on. You guys are good to go then. Then I'm gonna guide you guys throughout the whole setup process. Okay guys, so from here you guys can choose French or English. It depends what you guys want. So you just use your mouse in order to select. Now, if it doesn't sync up right away, just click on it various times. Now you guys can turn it off and on again, just to make sure it's gonna sync up. So as long as that light's on, it means your mouse is on and it has to sync up with your computer right now. So right now what we're gonna choose is English, which is the top portion. Then you guys just have to select yes, which is down here. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, Press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to Canada. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Now type your credentials. Okay, this part I suggest just doing it yourselves. Uh, Cortana can only help you so much, so it understands yes, no, yes, no. Right now, just type in your password for your Wi-Fi network here, which you guys need for sure. Once you put your password, you're going to see this message. Don't worry about it. Just go into next. Now we have some important setup to do. At this point, just click on accept, and you need to click on accept in order for Windows to run. 
Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. So usually I recommend doing this part if you guys have a Hotmail account or you guys can create one at this point. However, if you guys don't want to do that, want to maybe do that later and skip over that stuff, don't worry about it. You guys can select this right here, which says offline account. So we're going to do that for now just to speed things up. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. So we're going to name our account Tech and Design. Click on Next. OK, now type a password for your account. So right now it's asking us to type out a password. Sure, you guys can do that. Or you guys have this option too. So don't miss that because it does tell you that you guys can use an online account. That way it's going to be a little bit different, right? You guys can also view your password to make sure it's all good just by clicking on that icon. Click and on one next. more time to make sure we've got it right. You guys, again, you guys can view your password. Click on next. Now you can set up three security questions to help you reset your password if you forget it. Choose the first question and type your answer. Okay, so this is really up to you guys. I'm going to just scroll through this really fast. Pet's name. I'm going to put in tech. Now for the second one. Same drill. I'll choose the same one. I'm going to put in tech. Obviously, Third you guys can do whatever you guys Choose want. your last question, type the answer, and you're good to go. Nickname, tech. So there we go. Obviously, you guys should do hey, your own look, answers. that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? So I suggest saying yes. Or clicking Windows on Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing, even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. So same deal, you guys don't have to do this. But again, I do suggest it just makes it easier. So I'm going to say yes or click on yes. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. So it really depends if only you guys will use this or somebody else will as well. But usually Cortana does, even if somebody else is talking to it, it will recognize their voice anyways. So I'm going to choose the first option. I'm going to go into Accept. Now choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather, and more. So same deal. It's really up to you guys. I'm going to put yes. And if you ever lose your device, here's where you get to choose if you want and next. I'm going to use yes. Choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. So I if you want give to help permission. improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows, you can choose to do that here. So that part I actually don't like, so I'm going to choose no. Because it can kind of be kind of annoying sometimes. If you want tips, offers, and suggestions that are tailored to you, just select accept. So I'm going to put no. Some of you may want those tips, though. Last up for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. So I'm going to choose no. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. So this part is actually kind of important just for your warranty and everything. Um, although your receipt is the most important thing for your warranty anyways, even if you guys fill this up. So from here, you guys can just go on next once you guys fill that information up. Then again, this is up to you guys. You guys can uncheck this stuff or check it. I'm going to uncheck all this because I don't like that. And go next. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. OK, guys, so you are done setting up your computer. At this point, you guys will see this screen. So you guys can close it up, and you guys can get started right here with all your apps. OK. Anyways, that would be it for this tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.